But you know what? It's time to head back into Patrick's mm -hmm. Garden. What are we doing this week? Well, you know, sometimes you have to wait a couple of weeks for it to get really warm to plant those a little more heat-sensitive yeah. vegetables. But we went ahead and did uh, a few of those things this week awesome. because we were into the 80s and we're tackling okra. Okra's always a Ooh, favorite here yeah. in the Deep South. And here's what we did a little bit differently this year. Back in Patrick's Garden where a lot of our early vegetables are off to a good start. Now, one of our real warm weather vegetables that we need to plant now is okra. And okra can give us a lot of production all the way through the beginning of fall. Got my okra seeds and we're gonna try to give it a little bit of a head start this year. As if you notice, okra has a real tough hull and husk around it. And sometimes it can be quite hard to germinate. I'm gonna take the okra seeds, put them in a small container in fact, I'll put the rest of them in a small container. What I'll do is I'll pour a little bit of warm water to saturate the okra seeds. And in a matter of 10, 15 minutes, what will happen is that the husk will start to loosen, it'll start to swell, and the germination process once we plant will be quickened because it won't be nearly as tough to break out of that shell. After about 20 or 30 minutes, the holes and the actual kernels of okra are starting to swell and that means they're about ready to plant. Plant a couple of inches apart maybe or if a couple of them get stuck to each other, it's no big deal. You can come in later on when they germinate and separate them and call them a little bit more. Then you can just take your hoe about a half inch to an inch. Sometimes okra can be a little temperamental when they first come up and sometimes a few of them die out. You can always replant. Seeds are very inexpensive and once again, once they get established and once the weather gets to be pretty warm, then the okra should be in pretty good shape for the summer and fall to come. And I know a lot of people in the newsroom are going to be looking forward to the uh, time you harvest the okra. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit later, but this yeah. year I think it's going to come in a little earlier since we've been so warm so early this spring. Awesome. All right, well, since you're holding this beautiful flower, it's time to point mm -hmm. out that earlier today we gave folks on Facebook the chance to win this beautiful flower. This Calib is a hanging basket, a calabrosia. Yeah, there you a go. hanging basket full of color, the oranges, the yellows, the reds and purples. Absolutely wonderful. And congratulations tonight going out to Angela Casper. You won this hanging basket. Pick one up at the Glass Farm Nursery. It's on Highway 11, just four miles south of Trenton. So a beautiful thing. And, and they have lots of Angela. these, lots of beautiful colors. So a great weekend to maybe kind of plant the yard and maybe get a little rain on it. Indeed. And we're going to look forward to going back into Patrick's Garden next week. But in the meantime, stick around for one of our wildest interviews yet with the Chattanooga Zoo.